If you have kids in school, this might ring some bells for you. Our kids are slipping when it comes to math and to a lesser degree, science. According to a new study, Canada has dropped out of the top 10 in international math standings. The study looked at 65 countries and it bumped Canada into 13th place. As Mike Lecouture reports, it's a measure of how teaching math has changed and how we could be setting ourselves up for failure. To take the left-hand side of that identity and the other half to work on the right-hand side. While Ms. Sherry Mito's 12th grade math class is having an assessment quiz, students across the globe got their own report card today from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or the OECD. It shows Canada is doing well in reading, sliding in science, but there's a real problem in math. We slipped from 6th place in 2009 to 13th in 2012. I was a little bit shocked, actually. Uh, there's some fantastic stuff happening in our classrooms. Sherry Mito chalks it up to a curriculum change six years ago that moved the focus away from memorization. There has been a focus into a lot more investigative and uh, problem-solving approach, but I think it's that transition that we're seeing the results of. The top four performers are all from the Far East, with China sitting at the head of the class. Now, Canada is in 13th position, with even Liechtenstein grading higher. But consider the rest of the class. Australia ranks 19th, the Brits are down the list at 26th, and our North American neighbours rank 36th. The concern is that we're trending downward. The Council of Ministers of Education isn't pushing the panic button yet, but Jeff Johnson admits the country needs to solve this problem. And we're looking at strength and training for teachers in terms of those uh, specialized areas like math and uh, any other examples of the best practices that we can capture. I hope it is the wake-up call for ministers of education. Economist uh, Ian Lee points out math is the gateway to important occupations in medicine and architecture. And he worries if we don't act now, our current skill shortage will only get worse. So this is not only a micro problem for an individual young person who wants to get a really good job, it's a macro problem for all Canadians if we want to maintain a high standard of living. Back in the classroom, students are likely wondering when they'll use that quadratic formula in real life. But their math knowledge could be the solution to Canada's labour shortage. Mike Lucuteur, Global News, Ottawa.